Oh, boy. Okay, St. Augustine Mosquito Museum. Okay. Just put out a press release, I think. They say it mixes fun with education and a whole lot of bugs. No. <laughs> no, Davey's already bugs. not in for I this. I mean, what is fun about that? Yeah. I like Bugs Life. That was good. Pixar, I think, right? Remember yeah. the movie? Yeah. Right, sure. So, okay. We can expect a wide range of attractions out there, like... The Disease Vector Education Center. No. <laughs> um, I guess it's uh, it's a first of its kind uh, institution in the United States. Because nobody else wants to do one. This is how disease starts, you guys. We don't need them. Oh. It's situated in St. Augustine. It's an interactive science museum that opened its doors to the public this month. Finally, offering an immersive experience centered around insects and disease vectors. Oh, you know what? I'm being a jerk I, because there are so many kids that are going to love to go on a field trip just to get out of the, out the classroom. So maybe this is their like nice field trip, air conditioned moment to a different facility. <laughs> I'm going to go there. <laughs> See me in the gift I shop. I love how you didn't say anything about the kids are going to love the experience. No, they're just no. going to love getting out of school. That's all I cared about. I didn't <laughs> One know where we were going. more reason to get out of school. I know, right? Some of these field trips right. were terrible as a kid. <laughs> our, our stock field trips, because we just didn't have anything here, were just to Treaty Park. We went to Treaty Park probably a hundred times oh. for school. My teacher took us to her house to do lawn work. <laughs> She was like, we, we're going to do this study about uh, 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 landscaping and agriculture. <laughs> it's like, I'm raking leaves, Miss Bartley. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, you got swindled on those field trips. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Delaware. The Mosquito Museum is equipped with a diverse range of engaging exhibits, they say. The museum boasts interactive games, microscopes, videos, huh? a toddler area. <laughs> What's that all about? You just drop the toddlers off yeah, and the mosquitoes right, and a, go swarm right, around the in toddler. A mosquito. Yeah. Let's see how mosquitoes affect your toddler. <laughs> ah, they're young. <clears throat> They'll grow out of it. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope. Malaria, you know? Golly. And a fully operational laboratory staffed with, get this, Davey, mosquito scientists. Oh, well, there's probably some sort of accreditation out there. from. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to UF and got my degree in mosquito sciences. So proud. Yep. Okay, get a picture of that. So proud. <laughs> one standout feature, they say, is a full scale. Oh, this one. A full scale helicopter housed within the museum. Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our decommissioned helicopter from right. Jerry. Resembling those used for mosquito spraying operations. Oh, so we really can look at it. Yeah. Cool. Visitors have the opportunity to sit inside the helicopter and enjoy simulated flight experiences. <laughs> it's a fo like a it's fog coming up. <laughs> yeah, right. I, get, I get sick yeah. every time I go on that ride. What the map? I think it's the pesticide spraying directly in my face. <laughs> Uh, simulated flight experiences with large screens providing panoramic views of local landscapes. Oh, quick, over here, move over here. Get it on that. Get there's another mosquito. Back at him. So basically, it's my godson's PS5 racing yeah. setup in his room. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Founded by the Anastasia Anastasia Mosquito Control I District. Like anesthesia anesthesia. Let's put you to sleep and go out there. <laughs> It's that a, was so good. It's a taxpayer funded organization. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> taxpayer stuff. Uh, responsible for mosquito control and research in St. John's County, the museum aims to fulfill its mandate <laughs> Man. of public education. Despite criticism over the $4 million expenditure on the museum, hmm. The uh, Mosquito Commission defends the project, highlighting its broader educational objectives and the importance of cultivating interest in critical industries such as aviation and science. So mosquitoes affect aviation and science. Okay. Well, I think they're saying since they have a helicopter on site, it's pretty much an aviation museum oh, also. Oh, good. Well, maybe they can get grant money or something <clears throat> like that from the aviation and federal something. Yeah, it would have been nice if they did that before spending $4 million in taxpayer it's, bucks. Maybe there's a reimbursement? No, no, <sighs> definitely not. Well, this is great. Have you ever met somebody that gets excited about mosquitoes? 
No. Not one person not ever. Not a single person. Nothing. Nobody I've ever. I've never met. If you're yeah. in comments, please, I, I just want to see who you are. That'll be nice. Um, let's see. Uh, the Disease Vector Education Center. You can go to the museum's website at amcdsjc.org slash vector dash disease dash education dash center dash and dash science dash museum slash. So you're saying there's a vector there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're telling me there's a vector. Yeah. Do we know the location of this said <laughs> museum? I, I, I think it's on State Road 16 off of uh, uh, EOC Drive. Yep. I the believe specialist. Blake is right. Look at this. I, this, I mean, Blake, correct. you knew. He's first in line. Yeah. Ready to go. Hey, yeah. hey, I was the one that made show prep today. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Just one in the first place. Are you planning on going out to the Mosquito Museum anytime soon? Uh, maybe. Because 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 right now I, uh, I because because it said in the article like 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 it, it's free for everyone up until July so it's oh. So oh yeah well you missed last production meeting so listen rookie you may have to go and do some reporting for us <laughs> give us a full live uh, coverage of the mosquito museum yeah. yeah we could play that at ten o'clock at night to help people go to sleep <laughs> in that night nice? yeah <laughs> yeah lullabies with Blake. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Blake sounds thrilled about oh, this geez. assignment. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Blake.